Hey there everyone Deepak here and welcome to my first YouTube channel Welcome React that's totally based on React and Redact concept. If you are new to this channel, welcome aboard. So here I'm coming with multiple series which based on multiple React concepts like hooks, wraps, routing, Redux concepts like Thung and Saga, context API etc. So today I am came up with a first series that based on very frequently asked react coding questions into the interview and here uh, our first problem statement that you can see on the screen that we having four buttons that auto increment auto decrement pause and reset so we having it on the top of that we having one counter variable that initialize with the value of zero so the moment user will click on the auto increment button so what happened this counter value will start incrementing by one automatically okay so the same thing if you're clicking on the auto decrement button the value will start decrementing by one automatically and when we're clicking on the pause it will pause that value and when we're clicking on the reset again this counter value will reset to zero so if you are happy to do coding along with me please open your visual vs code or wherever you want to open your sandbox so please uh, i'm suggesting please do code along with me and let me open my vs code or my sandbox so i don't have a as of now i don't have a vs code in my system so just i'm opening my code sandbox so here we'll start doing this code so let me open that i think sandbox is open so let me remove that so i'm not focusing here more on the css part i'm just uh, focusing on the functionality part so if you look at this one so we having a four buttons auto increment auto decrement pause and reset so what let me uh, first of all let me create these four buttons for you button let me create and let me give you a name it's auto increment and let me close this button that's it so let me copy this let me copy this and let me paste it again i'm suggesting please do code along with me auto decrement this is auto decrement this is let me create another button that is reset and let me do mm, let me do first let me do pause here first and this is our reset <clears throat> okay so now i'm not focusing more on the css part i'm just focusing on the uh, functionality part so now we have a save four buttons that we are displaying it here auto increment auto decrement pause and the reset now we need this counter variable so what i'll use here to initialize the value of this counter variable i'll use react hooks so i'm using import let me import first the react react and i'm using the react hooks that is a youth state from react so basically uh, what youth state will do youth state initialize the initial state value of the counter variable we'll use youth state so let me do let me initialize that value const and let me just make it counter and let me uh, give it a name set update counter update i'm doing then i'm doing i'm using here uh, camel case okay update counter and use state i'm initializing with the initial value with zero okay so here okay we having at this counter value we having so we need to show what we'll do we'll just directly map it here so you can see 
but we need in next line so we can use I'm just giving a break here sorry 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 I think I need to use I just give the wrong one okay so I think you can see that if you want one more you can give just one more okay so you have any little space or you can write your own CSS I'm not writing CSS here so now when we are clicking on this button we need something called handler so what we'll do on this button and create four handlers the first one is on click equals to I'm creating a function that is called auto increment same thing and we will copy that decrement this is reset this is pause and this is okay so now let me declare all this function I'm using ES6 concept auto increment I hope you are all aware about how we are writing functions in ES6 if if you don't please let me know in the comments so I'll make a separate video on that so I'll I have created this auto increment same thing I'll create another function let me just make it this is auto increment so same thing I'll make auto decrement and this is pause and this is reset so all functions are ready all are dummy functions okay so first is their auto increment so what the functionality is that when we're clicking on auto increment the counter will start automatically incrementing by one right automatically incrementing by one means we need to use some interval after that the value should be automatically increment right so what we will use here we having a something called in javascript is that set interval so when once where i'm using set interval so it means let me write the syntax set set interval and when they're writing set interval it will it will take a callback function okay it will call take a callback function after how many seconds you want to execute so we want to auto incrementing that value by one after one second so we are passing 1000 milliseconds okay so what we want to do see initial value is zero so we after one second okay if each second we want to change this value to be incremented by one so what we'll do we use set interval and how we have to update this counter value we have to use update counter and you know if you know how the youth state callback function will work so what we'll do we have we just we can pass counter plus one right we can do counter plus one but what happened when we are doing this approach it is not correct because what happened when the value will start incrementing by one and when the user will click on auto decrement so what happened meanwhile because you know setting the state using youth state right setting the state in the react as asynchronous process when it is automatically incrementing and meanwhile when the user click on auto decrement so still the value is not updated but user click on auto decrement right so in that time what happened the value which we want to update will not correctly uh, update auto uh, will, will not update correctly so what we'll use we'll use a callback function so the callback function will give you the surety okay whatever you want to decrement or increment the previously previously whatever the values updated into the state it will take that as a part of uh, incrementing or decrementing so what we'll do here so we having a something called update counter so how we write we'll we'll use callback function and how we are writing this callback function so so we'll take the previous value anything you can just take as a count or i'm taking as a c 
okay it will taking the previous value and it is incrementing by one c means the previously whatever the value written to the state is we are taking as a c and we are updating it by one so now let me see so when we're clicking on c it is automatically incrementing that value okay so now this is working fine so what happened when we now the so same thing you can say when we are decrementing this value we will decrementing this value minus one right same thing after one second you want to decrement so now leave it okay let me refresh this space now i'll show you the decrement value let me give some initial value i'm just changing it here uh, auto decrement it will start decrementing by one so what happened when it's automatically decrementing when we're clicking on the auto increment c just notice what is happening see it got stuck why it got stuck see set interval what happened javascript when you're using set interval it will give you some id suppose it is incrementing by one then it again two so for each number it will give some id so that id we need to clear first suppose when we are incrementing by one it is going one two three four the moment you are decrementing right so before decrementing whatever the incrementing set time interval id is there that we need to clear and then we start to decrement that so how we need to how we need to clear the timer so what we'll do when we're using set interval we'll store into some constant okay so whenever we'll start on increment okay it will start incrementing but before decrementing we need to clear the timer or when we are if suppose if user will click in the start auto decrement when user want to increment that again we have to clear that time interval okay so uh, i'm just storing into a const uh, i'm giving a timer id equals to this one okay but now how can you access into this 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 function how will you because when it is auto decrementing when you're clicking on auto increment it will it be having a this timer id but how we can access into this so what i'll do i'll use again react hook const i'll make it a timer and i'll use update timer and initial value i'll just make it empty string so so it means when users start will clicking on auto increment right so before that if we having a timer id we need to clear that okay so now we having a timer id how we'll clear that how we'll make it global what we'll do we'll update timer we have and we will pass this timer id so now it is global you can use it everywhere this id right so before this function what i'll do calling this function i having in the react one function called clear interval is there and what the clear interval have to pass we have to use this timer id but what we are doing we can't passing this what we have we have stored into the global variable called timer so we'll use this timer so now now see now i'm auto decrementing start it will start so now it is automatic the moment we are clicking on auto increment but it will do the p so now it is not working see now i'll show you see again 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 because now we haven't cleared this auto increment id so now i'll i'll show you one more let me show you once more let it be reload now auto incrementing now i'm decrementing see again it got stuck because while we click using this auto decrement we haven't haven't cleared this timer so what i will do again when we are clicking on auto decrement we have to use this whatever the uh, global timer we having a set already we need to clear and again when we are clicking on auto decrement in that time also we are getting this timer id we need to store somewhere and again i have to update into the global function now see now i'm clicking on now let me refresh 
now I'm clicking auto increment it is incrementing by one so now when I'm clicking auto decrement it will call this function so whatever the auto increment timer ID is there right we have stored into the timer variable so before calling this auto decrement we are clearing this timer which is given by this auto increment now we have cleared that and when we are after that we are minus we are doing this minus now see I am clicking auto decrement see it is now you can see 28 27 now this is now this timer whatever this function given uh, we uh, whatever the timer id is given by this function we already clear now we are getting the timer id from this function now now we are when we are clicking auto increment we having this timer id stored into this timer so when we are clicking on this auto increment we are removing this timer which is given by this function and then it will start auto incrementing see automatically so now we are having something called pause so when we are clicking on the pause just nothing we have to do we have to just clear this interval whatever the timer we have we have to clear this interval once we are clearing this interval now see it is stopped now because why it is stopped because when we are clicking on this pause button whatever id is given by this function or this function okay whatever because we are anyway we are storing into the global variable timer if we are clearing this id it means now not we are incrementing or either we are not decrementing so it is clear that timer whatever the id is given by this timer we clear that so now it is not incrementing not decrementing now what is the reset reset will do nothing it will just clearing that timer interval and after that it will update that value so same thing if i am doing let me first we having this update counter and i will try to do update counter and we have to make it zero so now i'll start auto increment it will start incrementing i am doing reset zero so what happens see when i doing the reset it is again doing the zero but what happened we haven't cleared the timer id right so it for a moment it will update that counter because we haven't cleared the timer id so again it will start doing incrementing or decrementing so what will happen even when we are doing the re reset also we have to clear this timer id because the timer id is the only thing that will keep track of after one second what the value is incrementing or decrementing so we need to clear that first so i need to sorry <clears throat> okay now let me refresh and we'll do the testing once more i'm doing auto increment the value is incrementing by one and when decrementing it is decrementing by one when we are pause it will pause and we're doing the reset now it is reset because we have also cleared the time interval so here we'll do the quick recap we created this four buttons we are having auto increment auto decrement pause and the reset okay so once we are clicking auto increment it means after each second we want to automatically call this function so we are having in some javascript something called set interval when we are after each second one millisecond 1000 millisecond okay one millisecond so when we after set interval we want to call it after one second and after one second we are updating it same thing for auto decrementing we are decrementing it so when we are clicking auto in increment and meanwhile when user will click on the decrement what happened first we need when the first function which was called was auto increment so the set interval give us id so before calling another function we need to clear that id so okay so we are clearing this id and here also we are clearing this id but now this id how we will make it to global we we are using another hook uh, called timer update timer in the use state on the on the top of that uh, here we are making it globally and we are using it here okay and same thing when we are posing it we need to clear that interval when we are resetting it we are just resetting and updating the counter to zero hope you like this video if you like my channel my videos please like subscribe and do comment and if you are doing any preparation for specific interview if you having any queries regarding any interview questions any topics you want me to cover please let me know into the comments i'll make a separate video on that 
thank you thanks all for watching